Hello, Bazookards, my name is Hatsuzi, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where over the last few episodes, we tried to uh, bring up uh, our production uh, of um, various goods. So, um, maybe let's look at, um, at the signs. Yeah, the red one looks pretty solid. The green one is fluctuating a bit. Uh, how are we looking with uh, circuits? Ooh, not that great. Uh, that probably is a supply problem, I would assume. Let's head over there. Yeah, and I mean, running out of fuel in the furnaces. Also an issue. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we can see. We have... Iron on one side and copper wire on the other side That does not really go well together We are a bit uh, unbalanced here Maybe if we uh, move everything over to one side, can work out a bit better. Uh, up here, we are missing even more fuel. And let's grab a bit more iron because today after uh, many episodes of uh, pushing the uh, the output the productivity of uh, the the base I think I want to tackle something new I want to tackle the coal field that we have back there and not really to um, supply coal for our, uh, our furnaces, but we need coal to uh, fuel our trains. So maybe we can come up with uh, with a system for that. And once we have oil processing, we will also need oil uh, coal for the for the plastics. So let's copy this setup here. Turn it around. And um, have it there. And we want to have the station here. And I am thinking instead of uh, uh, wooden boxes, we will switch to iron ones because I don't have that much wood on this planet. Uh, we do not have large forests, uh, so maybe we should use the wood sparingly, uh, for example, to create power poles. So, 
that here. Good. Okay. Maybe that's a bit too close. Okay. Cannot come from uh, from down here, but we should be able to do that. Um, that's the end of the train there. That will not work out. Have a signal there. Then here I can have the blue inserters and drag them this way. We can have some more that way. And probably we can even then get another line in down here because previously that was always a bit of a problem uh, with um, the station which sat right there and some minus here can I craft two more ooh yeah can even craft more than two more few power poles here and there and and here right need to have this line in there and this of course will have a train limit of one and we call that coal field and add a nice icon to it right um, and we only need a train to go here but while we have that station there we should also see how we can uh, manage to get a fueling station going and seeing what we have here this is basically copper smelting this is iron smelting um, we could have a fueling station down here which means um, I should probably set up that square first with rails and so on uh, so that we then can fill in the sinks. All right, so let me let me do that uh, quickly. 
Um, probably I will need a bit of uh, cliff explosives. But once I have the space, we can see how we uh, can set up a coal fueling station. I did place one station for train fueling. And the thing here is that normally we focus on the cargo wagon. However, here I am thinking uh, we want to actually have something like this going. Um, does this work? No, no, no. And we need long handed inserts there. Um, And the station there. And train limit one, that's uh, fuel on loading one and it's fuel unloading because we may not stick forever with uh, coal fueling and uh, shall we have this station here Um, right. Ooh, not enough signals. Uh, same old story. And we will come in here from above. And that means here we will probably go out down here right signal there and uh, that means we will come from there um, There are quite a few lines there, um, so here we need another signal. We need a bit of uh, wire going there. Now we have power, and if we could get a radar. Um, here that would also be nice and then this would be um, uh, fuel unloading 2 right with a train limit of 1 then we only need three additional trains. One, no, one train, one for coal and set that up to go to both unloading stations and then change all the train orders uh, to go by the uh, loading station and up here we need to supply more coal 
Now then, let me uh, top off all uh, the um, the furnaces and so on with uh, coal, uh, and also see that we get the train going. There we have the train, so now let's set it up. We go to the coal field, full cargo, uh, and then we go to fuel unloading one, fuel unloading two. Uh, there on the first we will have an item count. Um, like that, empty cargo there, and then um, train fueling, and there we will have a time passed. Yeah, I think 30 seconds should be uh, enough. And then coal stacks to 50, which means we can add 500, 2000. Um, that means we have it that way, right? should be the correct way to set it up um, yeah. and once we have actually delivered some coal here then we can also set up the other trains to make a stop here. And this should be easier than adding the train, the queue train, the train queuing station before the unloading, because we just can add the train fueling at the end as the last order for the trains. So um, let's wait until we have a bit of coal in here uh, and then uh, we can set up the trains. Uh, the coal is delivered and the train should now go in to refuel. And we can see it picks up more fuel than it required. So the 30 seconds should be good enough to uh, eventually fill up completely. That brings up the fuel more than a, few, uh, a full slot. So now we can actually go ahead and add this uh, fuel stop um, it's called train fueling to all the trains uh, it's probably something that takes a bit of time to uh, to go through all the trains and set this up but that's something i will do um, until next time um, 
there we have another one. Um, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this uh, bit more buildy uh, episode. And also join next time when we will continue in our endeavor to beat the game without placing a single bullet. So, until then, goodbye!